Hey guys, so we are back again with another Clash of Titans video and for today's video we are going to play Zill in the jungle. So in this video I will be explaining you guys like how to play Zill and uh, what are the abilities and uh, how to use Zill and what are his combos and uh, how you can play him and how you can carry with him and a lot of things, advanced tips and all. So watch till the end of the video so that you will be able to understand a lot about Zill and if you are a beginner in jungle or if you are new to this game you can surely try it out Zill because he is one of the easiest assassin in my opinion and as usual we are just starting our jungle with the blue buff so we will be ganking the bottom lane but before that uh, our mage is in the middle lane so I just wanna clear the middle lane wave so that I can just uh, level up uh, really fast and get a lot of gold to leave compared to other assassins or like I mean the opponent assassin and the other heroes so we we are just back to our jungle rotation we just clearing our red buff once we clear all of our jungle we will be just ganking the bottom lane so Lumber is trying to give vision for their mage and marksman we can easily kill him but the problem is he is having his S1 he will just push, push us away yeah okay. just like this yeah but be able to get 2 kills because our mage and marksman already poked their mage and marksman so they were just recalled and they were just coming so late to their lane that is why we got two juicy kills because it is uh, 3v like 4v2 I guess right so as soon as you won the team fight make sure to uh, take the abyssal rahan as you can see uh, my blue buff is already up and uh, our Florentina is trying to fight their jungler in the DS lane I mean in the what is it a red buff but ended up dying so it's okay i know these guys will be trying to take this dark slayer i can kill both of them yeah okay i can kill her as well she she won't deal that much amount of damage yeah just like this and one more thing uh when you when you are trying Zill, always try to use your S1 first. So your S1 will give you two stacks. Like uh, uh, like when it goes and hit it, uh, it will give you one stack. And when it comes back, and if it hit the same opponent, it will give you two stacks. So as you can see, I'm getting two stacks from the minions, right? when i hit the minion uh, when it goes and when it comes so this is how you can gain stacks from with drill and when you got three skills i mean three stacks you will be able to like use your s2 again what actually means is uh, your s2 will be restored suddenly so always try to use your S1 and then S2 and then your ultimate your ultimate make sure to note this guys your ultimate won't deal a lot of damage so don't just rely on your ultimate always try to focus on uh, using your S1 and then S2 okay so S1 S2 and your S S2 will be back if it hits uh, the same amount than two times okay so right now uh, we having 9 kills with 0 death so it, this game is pretty awesome so as usual we will go back to our jungle and uh, note one more thing guys whenever you see any minions in any other lanes make sure to clear those minions with your teammates or without your teammates but make sure to clear all the jungle I mean all the minions okay so as you can see i'm just going to clear the top lane minions 
because our uh, DS lane is in the middle lane so these kind of things make you stay at the top which in 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 the means of uh, gold so always do these kind of things as a jungler then only you will be able to carry the game very very easily so he is trying to jungle i mean fight moral anyway it's fine let's get our red buff and we will just go and camp i mean gank the bottom laners seems we already lost the fight i am uh, late to the fight i guess because i just cleared the top lane as well so i came little late but anyways it's fine we will just try to clear the wave and try to take the abyssal dragon if possible or else we will just try to kill him so if he is trying trying to defend again we'll surely kill him okay Okay, he just recalls, but we can just take the tower. Uh, Slims and Zip will take the tower, and I'm just going to take the Abyssal Rahan. Kretnag is trying to kill our mage, but it is not going to happen. Here, uh, Kretnag might come. Yeah, as expected. We got the buff as well. Okay, we will just try to camp here. Because he will take this creep and come back to this creep. We can get what? How? I don't know whether he just predicted it rightly or not, but that was a really good play by him. Really, really good play. Here instead of using my S1, I just used my ultimate, I mean S2 to, to jump in. That is the bad thing I did here. I should have used my S1 first and I should have just jumped in. So this is the uh, advanced tip that I can give. Just always uh, if your enemy is so far from you, just try to take stacks from a uh, minion and then jump onto them okay it is fine to retreat and take this abyssal ryan and a lot of people who are all jungle and who are all new to the jungle they won't really consider about the abyssal ryan and all so this is what most people do which is really really a bad thing you should always focus on the abyssal ryan or dark slayer however your gold is okay even though if you have a lot of gold like 3 to 4k lead you always have to focus on abyssal dragon and dark layer as well because it will not increase your gold uh, only it will also increase your teammates gold so this will help you to carry your team even more easier so Try those kind of things and you can carry your team easily. Okay, let's just try to clear this wave. I'm just literally clearing all the middle waves and wherever I see minions. Okay, I think I can kill this fighter guy. Okay, he just used to dash as well as ultimate. So I couldn't reach him and there is no minion as well. So it is really really hard to reach him and it's even Hayate I don't know whether he will die or not because anyway he will be getting Hayagos H which is a really really bad I mean really really good against Zil because it will give you magic defense as well right so one shotting him will be a big trouble for us but anyways we are not just going to use our S1 S2 ultimate right we will try to poke him with our S1 and then we are going to kill him with our S2 ultimate whatever it is so not this time bro ok we got double kill and I got off ok Morad is coming so better just go off 
Even though if I was there I couldn't able to do anything. My ass won't, won't be enough to finish him off. Even though this is done. Okay. I'll just try to take the red buff and then we will go far. And Abyssal Ram. Oh wait, we already have the curse. So better we will just clear the bottom lane and then we will try to gank someone in the middle lane. I'm almost fully built. So this is the build you have to use and I will upload the uh, what is it? Arcana and enchantment in the a beginning of the video, no worries. So okay, two stacks. One stack, so even though if I use my S2 I won't be able to come back because I don't have uh like three stacks now. My S2 won't reset. Okay, he is dead. Okay, we can finish it off here itself. Uh, just poke like this. Easy gear hero guys. Very very easy hero. End it, end it, end it, end it, end it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, match card over. Nice, nice. So that's going to be it for today's video guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, one more thing guys, uh, I'm about to reach 1000 subscribers, I just need 25 subscribers, so if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and make me reach 1000 subscribers as quick as possible. Thank you so much guys for watching the video and I will see you guys in my next video.